marking Air Defense Day in Iran. After the end of the 16th Non-Aligned Movement Summit, which was held in Tehran, Iran's Army Air Defense Commander held a conference in Tehran honoring Iran's Air Defense Force. The Islamic Republic of Iran and its Air Defense Force, defense is a right for any human or nation. Iran's defense doctrine states that we have the right to defend ourselves against any threat or enemy at any time. In attendance were 32 military attachés from countries such as Afghanistan, Syria, Turkey, Russia, Indonesia, North Korea and China. Quote from Supreme Leader that today air defense is the first priority. So I'm sure this statement is one of the honor of the members of air defense forces. Brigadier General Farzad Ismaili, who is also the commander of Iran's Khatam al air defense base, explained the base was established by Iran's leader Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, who was also Iran's commander-in-chief back in 2008. The U.S. will not be content regardless of the laws Iran abides by, and the U.S. has brought unilateral sanction against Iran. Iran is a member of the IAEA and respects its guidelines, and it is also a signatory of the Non-Proliferation Treaty. Now they won't prevent Iran from achieving its right to have nuclear energy. However, the problem is bigger. It is the West and the Zionist regime trying to stir up the world against Iran. Brigadier General Ismaili also commented on the recent Israeli threats against Iran. Iran's air defense force can be powerful and efficient when used in a surprise attack. If the air defense force shows all of its capabilities and equipments to the world, it will lose its efficiency. We are always working to improve our air defense capabilities. Iran's air defense force is powerful because it can act quickly under pressure and effectively to destroy any enemy. The commander ended by saying that Iran will never propagate war against other nations. However, he added that armed forces are ready to defend their country against any act of aggression by the enemies. High-ranking Iranian officials and military attaches of 32 friend countries have been invited to commemorate the heroic air defense of the Islamic Republic of Iran army. Amir Hussain Press TV, Tehran. During your meeting.